morning. My name is Joan Jenks. I'm one of the naturalists here at Bowman's Hill Wild Preserve. And I'm standing right now in the Founders Circle near the Visitor Center and by our display gardens. And what I want to talk to you about today is the pitcher plant. The pitcher plant is a very interesting plant because it has evolved to become carnivorous. It was growing in areas and still does grow in areas that have very poor soil and can't get the nutrients it needs. So in order to live, the plant has adapted to become a carnivorous plant which eats insects. The plant itself has this very tall pitcher. The purpose of the hood is to help keep rainwater out of the pitcher. The plant has some nectar which attacks, attracts the insects and the insects come to the plant, get on the very edge and then usually slip or fall in. And when they fall in, they land into a pitcher with digestive juices in it. They die and they eventually get broken down and the plant absorbs its nutrients from the insect. The pitcher itself is the most unique leaf structure in the world, it's said, because it has evolved to form that pitcher out of the leaf. It's hard to imagine that one time it was a fat, flat leaf um, it likes to live where it's boggy, and so here we have created a bog. The pitcher plant uh, reproduces uh, sexually with the flower, and I have a picture of the flower that shows it in full bloom, and I actually picked the flower this past weekend, so it blooms about now. The flower sets seeds, and then the seeds go on to uh, create more plants. I'm coming to talk to you today about one of my favorite trees, the tulip poplar, or the tulip tree. I'm going to be walking, or I am right, I am right now, at the entrance to Penn's Wood, and we'll start out by walking down through the woods where the trees are. And almost as soon as we get here, we come up to two very straight gray tree trunks, and these are two tulip trees. And if you follow your eye up, almost as high as 60 to 70 feet up, you'll start to see branches with the tulip-shaped leaf. I have a leaf here so you can see it closer because it's very hard to get a picture without some sort of a telephoto lens of how high the leaves are on the tree. The leaf has four lobes and it hangs on a pretty long petiole and when the wind blows, it quakes, and that's why it's called a tulip poplar. It is not really a poplar, but its quaking style makes people think of a poplar. It takes 12 to 15 years for a tulip tree to begin to produce flowers, and the flowers are going to be very, very high in the canopy. They're a beautiful tulip-shaped flower that's where the name comes from, that flower, that has a light yellow and an orangish color to it. Flowers usually bloom in May to early June, and they've just finished blooming here not all that long ago. The tulip tree is fast growing, and it grows as much as two to three feet every year. But even though it's fast growing, it's a very strong tree and many tulip trees live as long as 200 to 300 years. Tulip trees also have been called canoe trees because Native Americans like to use these beautiful large trunks to make their canoes. The bark on the tree is distinctive. It's light gray and it has ridges or furrows in it. And it's distinctive because these are very, very straight unlike many other trees. So once you look at a tree a couple times, you're going to recognize it as soon as you see the bark on this very straight tree. In the fall, the flowers on the tulip tree turn into seeds. And those seeds are in cones, not as big as a pine cone and not as tight, but there's many, many, many wing seeds there that you'll find in the fall laying all around the tree. They blow as far away as three times the height of a tree. 
Thank you so much for joining me today as I talked about the pitcher plant and the tulip tree. I invite you to go to our Facebook page and enjoy the video there. Please like it, please share it with your friends and it, so they can enjoy it also. Also to let you know that the preserve is now open for visiting. Make reservations through our website and come enjoy the tulip tree and the pitcher plant in person. Thank you.